morning. Good morning. Good morning. This morning, we saw Gordon standing in front of a table with different little appetizer type thingies, and I had no clue what was going on. Slightly different this morning. Sit down. Ladies, on my left. Chef Ramsay has prepared what appears to be a high quality gourmet buffet. What I want to talk about is taste. What the aspiring chefs don't know is that all of these dishes are fake. So I put together some fondue. Actually, it's spray on cheese. Pate. It's really crushed hot dogs. Caviar. Mock caviar from a catfish. I just like a meat sort of bruschetta, almost like a kebab. Yeah, those are from a TV dinner. We don't deserve to be eating caviar this time of morning. However, just taste. After such a horrible night of service, chef's presenting me with caviar. Mmm. Every time you put something in your mouth, you've got to know what you're eating. Who's tasted the fondue? I have. It's nice and thick, coats your mouth nicely, sharp, creamy. Heather, what do you think about the chicken and the pineapple? I think they taste really good. Keith. Yes, sir. Favorite dish? I like the pate, sir. Good, didn't you? I like the caviar. The stuff I've eaten before tastes like fishy. Stinky. That is just amazing. Originally, I tasted the caviar just by itself, and I wasn't really that uh, fond of it. But once you get everything on there, yep, it just comes together. Uh -huh. I don't think any of you around the table this morning have any idea what you've been eating. Scott, please don't be upset with me. You have every right to be upset with yourselves. So, the fondue was a spray cheese. The kebabs, bruschetta, was a TV dinner. My pate was made out of crushed hot dog. And this bit here, we have a catfish, the mock fake caviar. They give it away, you can't even buy it. Here, you want to kill yourself? Take some fake caviar. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, no, 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 no. I was taking it seriously, and then, and then he's like, ha, ha, it was catfish, hot dogs, cheese in a can. And a TV dinner, ha <laughs> ha. It's embarrassing. Keith. <laughs> no, 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 no. The pate tastes good. It's made out of hot dogs. Hot dogs are slamming. Now I know where we are. You all have palates like cow's backsides, and we have got some work to do. Okay. There's a few out there that are executive chefs, right? OK, good. There was one that I seem to remember you with the glasses. Yes, yeah. yeah, chef. What do you do for a living? I'm a mom, um, but I'm a cookbook author. Never worked in a restaurant? No, chef. OK, let's start from the bottom. Bring your dish. Oh, jeez. Apart from it looking like baby vomit, what is that? It's a uh, veal scallopini. Oh, God. Listen to me. That dish... Was it delicious? Thank you, Chef. I mean, I'm shocked. It may look slightly dull and boring, a little bit like you, but well done. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look so nervous. You're scary. OK, let me give you a hug. Up there. Right, relax. Relax, relax, relax. That is not his style. He doesn't just hug people. He's not the type of person. He's not personable at all. What a great start. If that's the sign of things to come, well done. Thank you. God, it was good. Chef Ramsay, you're a little slutty. I was just so stunned. Chef Ramsay really did like that dish. That was fucking amazing. <laughs> Listen to me. Before I go any further, this person is not who you think she is. This person is... Oh, um. My wife, Tana. Huh? Take that off. Thank God it's his wife. He just, like, licked her teeth. Job well done. The roast, what's up, man? How come I can't see the nice, beautiful inside of the beef? Yeah, I like cut it in half, then I just seared it just to cook it up. No, a see, little. the correct answer is you fucked it up, you didn't cook it right, and you're trying to get it by me. Do you have another one that I can see a nice pink center in? Yeah, chef. Do you have another one with a nice pink center in it? Well, I no. That one won't work? No, that one's not gonna work. With no steaks ready to serve, Lou Ross's situation is looking grim. Fucking send me home. That's what it is. But Petroza 
has a plan. This is our chance. It's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. Well, well this is our only shot that we got. We had to show the face of the beef, so I had to slice a sliver off it. I wanna get the fucking food out. It's not, it's, it's fucked up already. She shows up, I, I'm gone. He sliced that paper thin, and I looked at him, and I'm like, are you serious? And he was all, yeah. But damn, do you see the color on that steak? It was straight medium well. How's that one? Looks like it fucking works to me. OK, LaRosse, where's that beef? Here's the beef. Come Here's on. the beef. Much better. That was the most ghettoest thing ever in possibly kitchen ever. But it still went out, you know? I'll do my best, man, for you. You know? You do what you got to do in the kitchen, right? <laughs> With Lou Ramsey is waiting for medium Wellingtons, but Rachel has overcooked them. She's hoping, however, that painting them with a little sauce will make them appear less well done. What Rachel doesn't realize is that Chef Ramsey can tell if meat is cooked correctly simply by touching it. How's it cooked? First it was cold. Uh, come here. Rachel, come here. Yes, Chef. Yeah, just touch that. What's the lamb? It's well done. It's requested pink. That's cooked to fuck. It's barely edible. Oh, for God's sake. Rachel, this is pitiful. Rachel, you suck. Stop right there. I'm going to put you out of your misery. Switch it off. Just stop. Hello. Shut it down. Yes, sir. Although dinner service is finished, Chef Ramsay is not finished with one of the chefs. You've got that spoiled brat syndrome, that huffy puffy, turn their eyes, fold their arms, and not even look at me in the eyes. Oh, I didn't mean that, Chef. Deep down inside, you've got a big amount of talent there. You know that? Sure. My biggest problem is no one's nursed it properly. Has anyone ever actually told you how good you could be? No, Chef. Now, you can cook, big man, you know that. The first hour and a half of this service, you're running it. When you made one stupid mistake, yes, sir. the quicker you get rid of that attitude, you're going to shine. Yes, sir. Tonight's service was equally brutal in both kitchens. Now, Chef Ramsay faces a difficult task, choosing a winning team. My back is killing me. Any idea why? Because I've got the weight of two kitchens on my shoulders, and I'm, I'm getting tired. Far away. I think none of us on the blue side performed up to our potential tonight. I think all of us deserve to be up on the elimination block. I personally did not perform up to my potential at all, but I don't think that I should go home. Thanks for being so brutally honest. Heather raised her hands like she had guts and then said, I don't think I was the worst, but I think everybody on the blue team should be on the chopping block, which is bullshit because K I killed it. Heather was trying to weasel herself out of trouble. Red team, you were two tables short of completing your entrees. That's how close you were. And blue team, you got all your entrees out. But don't start congratulating yourself because that was painful. And the losing team is... It's the red team. Couldn't get all your entrees out, and you had one more chef in your team than the blue team. Sorry, ladies. Not good enough. Virginia, you were that close to going home the other night. Yes, chef. Definitely not going home tonight. It's pretty obvious. You are the best of the worst. Go back to your dorm and nominate two of your teammates for elimination. Yes, Chef. Get out.